Threat level Omega. Society isn't ready for Onichan wa Oshima. Please listen, friends, and take me seriously. Years ago, in my dark past, I read the manga. It was cute. Really cute. I'm seriously worried for the socially awkward young men who will be seduced into transitioning. This is such a serious post that I won't even include any pictures to go along with it. I really can't stress enough that this is an Omega level threat. You should be very concerned. I just saw the ending for the anime and the Sakuga. It's beautiful. It's so damn beautiful. Luckily, I have a strong personality and have been brought up in the right conditions to dispel such propaganda. But for the still developing young men, seeing such a display of raw cuteness is like a shot of pure cocaine up the nostrils. The charm is just too much for them. The reality is many young men aren't fully aware of their own motivations. They'll misattribute their love for girls with the desire to be one. Once they've made it their personality, retrieving them is near impossible. Prevention is the best method to stop transgenderism. Onomai follows the story of Mahiro, who's become a guinea pig in Mihari's, his little sister's latest science experiment. After drinking a cola which was spiked with a formula made by his sister, Mahiro wakes up having de-aged and having his gender bent. And that's all you need to know about this anime's plot. It's meant to be a cute series of how this once adult man operates in his now neutered form, and it's as if we, the audience, are meant to sit on the sidelines and laugh at his expense. I know it sounds less cute when I frame it that way, but it's not too far a stretch to make. Further in the episode, we get more backstory about Mahiro and how he's kind of been overshadowed by his much more talented younger sister. And I should think this is the perfect demonstration of how some young men have been emasculated in modern society. And to Mento's point at the beginning, this is a reflection of modern attitudes not only towards but also among men. That there are men who aren't particularly successful due to a lack of positive male role models, a lack of conviction in themselves, and a lack of traditional values which grounds them in purpose. I do echo Mentor's concern for the developing young men who watch this, then they may think to themselves, hey, I'm a guy who isn't very successful, I'm a guy who really does nothing except stay at home and play video games, and I'm a guy who looks at this cute lifestyle that women have. It's certainly a cause for concern for these young men who then may go further and actually transition. Now, I shall nuance this view by saying that this anime won't be the sole cause for men to transition, that there are definitely other factors which will contribute to this, and I'm not going to completely blame this on the author either. Mento here again saying later how the original intention of Onomai was probably to just create a cute moe anime with a twist, but we can't ignore how this anime could be co-opted and hijacked by the alphabet cultists, and at the very least, you have to admit that Onomai is a good reflection of the state of the modern man, a man who has been castrated by the society around him and has had feminine attributes forced upon him, and hence why this anime is an abomination. Especially if you do have lost issues, this is definitely a no-go, because some of the scenes in this are really on the edge of being hentai. I'll definitely praise some things Onomai has done right, that the animation in this is definitely above and beyond its peers this season, and the guys working on this are definitely trying a lot harder than the folks working on Inspector. But ultimately, that's the biggest tragedy of this anime, which is that the story of an emasculated man has been packaged in this very cute manner. On a final note, if you are a guy who feels as if you have no purpose, you have no hope, you have no future, I do want to tell you this. There's a better way. You don't have to become a woman. I want to tell you that despite your failures, despite your sins, that no matter how outcast you are, no matter what your past entails, there is a god who loves you so much more. So much so that even in your sin, he came down in human form to live the perfect life we could never live and die for us. And that in putting your faith in Christ Jesus and trusting Jesus, you may have your sins forgiven and your life will have a much greater purpose than whatever this world could ever offer. So I pray that you would find your purpose in Christ and that you would accept the grace being offered to you. Special thanks to Mento for writing the original thread and inspired this video, so please do give him a follow on Twitter. If you do instead want a recommendation on what to watch, check out my video on Bocce the Rock, which better demonstrates what socially anxious people, and hence men, should actually do instead of transitioning to the opposite gender.